Um, hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you a working boat with a player, or player model driving it, rather, if you want to be technical. Um, so this is in Project Spark, as you can see, obviously, in the title and such. Um, and what I did was, I'll show you actually. There was a guy on Reddit who named Hexer1021, uh, and he wanted me to basically make it so that um, he could have a player driving a boat and also swim faster in water. So here are the two things that he wanted me to do. First of all, he had running with right trigger, makes it makes you run faster. Okay, that's, that's what you do. And then swimming, left trigger, makes you go faster as well, as you can see. Yeah. So, um, and finally, well not finally, you can get in the boat, you can drive the boat. I know it's ridiculously fast and whatnot. Uh, boat's camera separate from the actual camera. Or if you will give me a second. It likes to update, which is unfortunate. But you can actually control the camera like this, and it'll reset back to center. Or actually backwards, that's weird. But anyways, um, and then you can press B again to exit, and you can enter and exit as many times as you like. As you can see. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you can enter and exit as many times as you like. And it, um, which is actually quite difficult for me. Um, well, not quite difficult, but like, took me a little time. To, a little more time than everything else. So, I mean, like, getting into the boat was easy. But then, getting out of it, and then getting into the boat was easy, stand alone. Getting into the boat, adding the feature to get out of the boat was painful. Uh, but yeah. Because then you would have people, you'd have it so that you would get in the boat and then automatically get out, or try to get out of the boat, but you'd automatically get back in. So, I'll show you the brains. Um, first things first, um, so the character's brain, right here, uh, your, your main player character, uh, player on boat, every boolean, um, variable is false by default, so this will be false. After two frames, you'll be able to move and whatnot, and, um, uh, pretty much the only thing that's he needed is that, uh, where is it? Right trigger? It's, um, well, not that. Left trigger, for you to swim fast, is set the swing speed equal to 100, which is the maximum speed, so, yeah. And then you also need to, what he didn't have was the swimming acceleration, uh, you need to set to equal to 400. Or, or a higher variable than normal, because otherwise you'll just sit still, or sit going the same speed for a really, really long time. Because this is uh, linear acceleration, I'm pretty sure. Or, well, yeah, obviously linear acceleration, but, but you increase at the same speed. At the same rate, I mean. So, if it's really low, you will not increase like for days and days. Anyways, and then left trigger release is just sets it back to default, which is probably an accurate default. But still, don't worry about this because it's just because it wasn't working, and I was just trying to find out why it would why it wouldn't work. Which the answer is acceleration. So don't worry about it. Uh, all this is defaults like just press A to jump, X to attack, Y to shoot, blah blah blah, blah, blah. and then detect interact. Interactable uh, objects in front. It's just all default. Blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah. Now, first things first. So, basically, the only thing that, um... One of the things that I needed to do was make so the boat would be in interactable. And, um... So what you do is press B to interact with it. And then, voila! Um, first thing first, whenever the global variable, which by default is false, as all booleans are, player on boat, the would be false by default, um, boat, it makes the boat inter interactable, which is, I could essentially just move that out, and then voila, that's still the same, because it's always going to be interactable as soon as you make it interactable. This is like a forever thing. And then... When it's interacted, which is by pressing B, it'll set player on boat equal to true. And that's all it'll do whenever it's interacted. Because this is, there's nothing under it, or, like, this isn't apparent to anything else. This win is, and this do are the only two things that are together. Or, it, this do is the only thing that's together with this interacted. And then, if you go over here, because as soon as you're done with the interacted, over in the, in the boat, it'll go back to its original... Or it's, it's current brain, which is the character, obviously, because you never change it or anything. 
And um, something to note is that the interacted will always check the brain of this, but only the interacted areas. And then it'll go straight back to this as soon as the interact is done. Until you interact again or whatever you want to say. Um, and then now we set player on boat to true. And so this none of this would work. None of this would work. You couldn't interact again. And uh, yeah. So now player on boat, pretty much what it does is just goes into his brain and then pushes his brain to the boat, which probably isn't necessary. You could just potentially just go push brain to boat within the interacted, but then you wouldn't be able to detect this later on. So that's why I put the variable there. All right, and then so now it's pushed the brain to the boat, which by the way, the boat's defined up here. Just the object variable boat equals boat, voila, not very special. So now we go down, this is not, this is no longer going to be uh, working. So then you go to the player on boat, which now this is, this is the boat's brain. We're using the boat's brain whenever we're trying to control something now. Keep that in mind. So the, ca the camera will follow the boat, which is like what you want. <laughs> It'll move the, the character, your previous brain character. You, you can, I, what I did was I just in world picker and then just selected the character model. And then you'll set the position equal to the boat's position and the direction equal to the boat's direction, which you could just say side equals side or forward equals forward, back equals back, whatever you want to say. And then right trigger sets the swimming speed equal to 100, swimming acceleration equal to 400, and then move. You don't really need the, um, you can put these outside, but then you might get an error or it might not work proper, it might not work properly. Um, as you would like it, or it might not work properly, period. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I put that in the right trigger, because then, I don't know. It's just so that it's, it's only when it's the right trigger. So you can set it later as well. So it'll, I don't know. Anyways, so then you move. It's standard move, forward, whatever. Left stick turns slowly pretty straightforward. Um, countdown timer 0.5. Now the reason I have this countdown timer is because of the spamming of in and out, in and out. Um, and I have a duration timer that's detecting for interactable objects closer than 10, whatever the measurement system is. I'm not sure in the distance, but 10 distances away, <laughs> whatever you say. Um, so then that'll, this will always be running after 0.5 seconds. And after 0.5 seconds, it'll go again. 0.5 seconds, it'll go again. I, well, after... So, this basically makes it so that after 0.5 seconds, this will go on forever, obviously. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't actually need this. Whatever, after 0.5 seconds, it'll detect this. There you go. I This was for something else. I forget this. I'm going to delete this. So it's not confusing. Because um, this is a child of that. And we'll just make a duration timer last forever. What? That's not useful. Because <laughs> it's just having a duration timer going. But whatever. Um, so, this is debug. Uh, actually, this isn't debug. It detects interactable objects closer than 10. And you're like, well, what interactable objects could there be? Now we go over here. And you'll notice that I actually set this, um, this uh, model to be interact interactable. Now... The only reason this works is that you can't interact with yourself. I know that sounds kind of perverted, but whatever. <laughs> you can't interact with yourself. Um, or doing so would make it sound perverted. But uh, would be perverted. Anyways, um, so you can't interact with yourself. Keep that in mind. So whenever you're this character, you can't interact with this character with yourself. Like I said, and when you're the boat, you can't interact with the boat. So that's why this works. And then if I go in down here again... You'll see that it'll interact. You can press B about to exit. This displays it above the boat, not above the character, because you're in the boat's brain. And then whenever the B is released, which I kept specifically released because otherwise you might have issues with getting in and out again. But um, or right, my brother press that's just default. It'll interact with with the character. 
Which then, when the character is interacted with, um, you'll see here, it's going down. Whenever the character is interacted with by the boat, so this is just so that you can have like multiple different means of transportation or whatever you want to say. Um, whenever it's interacted by the boat, it'll set the reset equal to true. And also display this debug option, which or debug thing, which will just tell me that it, this is just telling me that. So it did reset it. The reset was set to true by this interacted. This interacted work, but then what happened was the reset wasn't used properly. But anyways, so it says the global variable, global boolean variable equal to true, which then, now that it's done with the interacted stuff, it'll go back to your boat or your previous brain, or the brain that's currently using whatever. And then if you look here, you see that if global reset, which when true, okay, when variable is true, is pretty much the same thing. When this variable is true, or when true, or when false, it will not go. When true, fall out. Get it. So when the no mind. I give up. <laughs> um, so when when true, um, when resets true, it will display a reset test boat, which this was just another uh, res debug thing that I had, and it will do peasant. It will make the the character's model. Uh, decrease by four. This is globally, so it won't actually. I could go like this position. I could go like this. It would go like this. Um, try to fix this out. Figure this out. Uh, so positioning, directions, left. I don't want that. I don't want an X. I want delete. I could just go. I could just do equals, actually. Can I? Equals. <laughs> insert. Or I could do. Can I do increment by? Can't do that. Left. Um. Ah, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. So I'll do this. I'll do forward. I'll do. Positioning. X. Equals. I, I don't want to do equals, I want to do increment by. Increment by. Do values, number. This is, increment by is just like plus uh, itself. That works. Okay. So now, when you're looking forward, the x, which I'm not sure which direction that is actually, but we can test that later, um, will increment by 4, which means it'll go that direction. The x direction relative to the forward will go up by 4, which basically shifts them over 4. Um, Okay, forget that. Anyways, um, well, no, forget that, but you know. Uh, and then it'll set the player on boat equal to false, which would then make this active, but then this doesn't matter because it's, you're still in the boat, so you can't interact with yourself, like I said before. So, voila, there goes that. Um, sorry to cool down timer. Whenever this, whenever this starts to happen, It'll run. It'll do this once. It'll count on timer one. In one frame, it'll pop the brain. Which basically, all the pop, all pop the brain does is just go back to its previous brain. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah. So then it'll pop the brain after a frame later after this turns false. So what that means is that none of this will happen. So you can't. What happens is that you can't. Uh, interact with the uh, what is it? Interact with the character twice or more than once or to screw anything up so they don't screw anything up and just it's just a safety net pretty much so uh, pop brain basically goes back to the previous brain which was the character and then you'll notice that when the brain's popped and the variable's false It'll go through all of this. As you can see. It'll do all this. Again, it'll basically go back to its original state. And then... It won't do this. Well, yeah, it just resets the entire thing. So now you're back to where you started. You can do all your movements and whatnot. And yeah. So I'll show you one more last time. 
the last time. It takes a little bit to load, so I'm pressing right trigger right now, but it's not working. So, good way to fix that is just by pressing start, and then, then trying it, because then it'll, by pressing start, it'll load everything. I don't know why, but it's just a bug, whatever. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I run fast, I swim fast when I press the trigger, and I also, uh, can control this boat. One funny thing that I like to do is go like this. What? Give me a sec here. A sec here. Haha, <laughs> I win. <laughs> pretty funny if you ask me <laughs> i basically go off the side of the map of the water pool or whatever and then um then i will then i end up going forward whatever all right and then i get go back into it and then i float back up it's pretty funny to me at least um so yeah and i actually forgot to show one last thing where you can actually go back into the boat and get out of the boat and while i'm out of the boat and i can do whatever i want whatever i please as much as I want. And pretty much any of this is interchangeable. I'm just trying to show you an example of, I don't know, what how to make a vehicle. Like, you can change any of this, really. It's just the basic concepts. Not necessarily basic, whatever. The concepts, or the ways you that you would do it, go about doing it. So, uh, yeah. Here you go, Hexer. Um, I guess I'll see everyone else later. <laughs> um, alrighty then. Bye. Oh, settings. <laughs>